life is short, eat dessert first. This is one of my favorite necklaces. It takes me back to the old good days. I'm heading to my class. Let's have dessert first. Here are the gifts I received from my sisters. If you've watched my previous video, you probably know about the gifts exchange I did with them. If you haven't watched it and want to see what I've given them, check out that video first. Link in the description below. I can't wait to see what's inside these bags, so let's dive in. The first gift is from my older sister. I really like these chic simple hair clips. The rose gold, a very trendy color now. And this is just good timing. I've cut my own bangs recently and they look horrible. So hopefully these clips will fix what I've ruined. <laughs> I love to wear scarves in general and I've been into collecting skinny scarves recently. So this is super thoughtful of my sister. Polka dot pieces are my passion, and since this thin scarf is black and white, it will go with most of my outfits. I gagged when I saw this ring. She knows how much I'm dying to travel. I'm gonna wear this very often to remind myself to keep working hard to fly somewhere else. The last piece is this gorgeous round neck Star Wars top. It's gray with black star studs, which I think is super duper cool. I love, 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 love all of the thoughtful, amazing gifts I got. They're so my style. Thank you, Radir. Moving on to the second box, which my younger sister gave me. Reno designed this card herself on Illustrator. She knows I'm a Korean boo, so she wrote this Korean proverb. It literally means at the end of hardship comes happiness, which also can be translated to no pain, no gain. But here is the actual card with vintage traveling suitcases. Again, my sister showed me the best. The first thing I got is this travel size perfume. I've used this brand before and I love the scents they got. This one has a pretty good smell too. The second thing is this blush brush. And I know why she bought it for me. The brush that I'm currently using is hers. So this gift is her saying, give me back my brush please. These face sponges gonna be my new addiction. On the pack it says that they peel, remove and clean the skin. I'm not sure if they have different colors for different purposes or not, but they're extra squishy. I felt like squeezing them forever is so satisfying. Say hello to this teeny tiny lip balm. It has a nice not so greasy texture. The last piece in this gift is this plain white shirt with pink it's over. The precise meaning of this phrase depends on the context. So it can be a defeated it's over or a cheerful it's over. Loved it and loved every single item in this gift. Thanks Reno. My little nieces drew me some love too, then drew me two of my favorite BD21 characters, Cookie and RJ. She also drew me Cadbury. It was the sweetest drawing I've ever received. I mean, she included everything I love, and I love that about her. Ragat, my other niece, gave me two pieces of art. The first one is me hanging out with Cookie, and the second one she said I should give to Cookie himself. I think she has a crush on him. 
last but certainly not least, this colorful paper called Craft Zena my student gave me. It's very artistic and it's handmade and I'm so in love. Thank you, Zena. I'm delighted with all the love and thoughtfulness I received that day. All of the gifts are so to my liking and I'm very thankful. And I'm also thankful for you guys for being here with me today. 